I don't own the rights to this, but this basically is what I'm going through in a nutshell. And she basically <laughs> breaks it down really well of why people like me go through what we go through. Oh. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank um, chosen people, pretty much. Swoop. Okay, so. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to have I don't own the rights to this. I don't own this. You know, I had a message that was downloaded to my spirit earlier, and the message said, the Most High made them believe you were a nobody on purpose. Now, this is pretty significant for the chosen seed because, you know, today we live in a very superficial world where a lot of people base your value on materialism. You know, it's all about what you have. You know, do you have enough of it? Do you have more than the next person? You know, are you flashy enough? Are you loud enough? You know, are you uh, getting enough likes or do you have enough followers? You know, it, you know, what what uh, things can you accentuate? Do you have enough backside? Do you have enough, you know, gold chains? And it's just everything is all about superficiality. And the thing about the chosen seed is that this journey that we take when we go through our spiritual awakening consist of <laughs> what may feel and look like complete destruction because there's a breaking down and a rebuilding that has to take place in order for you to come into remembrance of who you are and to really find your own value absent materialism and so from the outside looking in Many of the karmics that were in your life, they saw you and they said, hmm, yeah, they're a nobody. They, had, they don't have enough, you know. People rejected you because they felt like you just wasn't, you didn't have it like that. You didn't have enough to be a part of their clique or you wasn't flashy oh, enough to, bed. you know, have on their arm when they went out or, you know, you just didn't rise to their superficial expectations but they didn't realize that they literally was entertaining an angel they had prime and ample opportunity to embrace the beautiful gifts that you were offering in that very in that very uh I don't even know if you want to call it tumultuous, but it was a very traumatic season that many of the chosen had to go through, especially moving into the age of Aquarius. Many of you out there can attest to taking losses that were just unforeseen losses where you had to literally start from zero, where you literally had to start from nothing and work your way back up. Exactly. But the thing is, they, they didn't see the value that you possessed. What you had to offer in that time in your life, and this is who you've always been genuinely, is a compassionate person, a very giving person, even in spite of the fact that you might not have had much to give, a good listener, you know, you'd give words of encouragement, good hugs, you know, a smile that can brighten a person's day, um, peace, laughter, joy. These are the things that cannot be brought but you had a lot of karmics around you who was so superficial that they didn't see the value in those things. And so when you were going through the various trials and tribulations that you likely had to go through in your spiritual awakening, you took a lot of losses and it literally placed you in a position where from the outside looking in, people would say, wow, it's She's she over there. She's doing real bad, that, you know. And and they would have said that you, you know, some of them called you bum. Some of them called you broke. Some of them called you, you know, they, they pretty much put you down and said everything about you outside of the truth. Everything but the truth was said about you when you were going through your spiritual awakening. And see, the problem is a lot of them laughed at you because they felt like you were losing your mind. Yeah. They said, oh, you know, he or she is saying they're going through a spiritual awakening. But if that path was so great, then why are they in lack? Why mm. have they lost everything? 
why are they sitting over there in that situation where they don't have anyone and, you know, they're in isolation and all of these different things. They had no idea that the Most High literally hid you in plain sight. Mm. Because what was growing at that time were the gifts, the creative ideas, the visions. That's what was being developed within you during those moments where it seemed like you had nothing in the material realm because everything that you needed had to start to develop from within. You had to realize the treasure that was already within you. If you want to hear the rest of this video, I recommend that you go to her channel. I'm going to leave the link in the, um, in the description box and in the comment section because um, I don't own the rights to her uh, video. But I just wanted to... Um, Excuse the crumbs. I just ate a, I just ate a cake last night on my bed. I gotta like wash my sheets, but um, and that's that's the reason why all this happened last night. I was at the store trying to get money for laundry and groceries, and um, I was on my way home walking by myself in the dark. Um, and then all this escalated, mind you. Previous that day, I had to handle a situation that had happened, um, that I had to handle. I was already having pretty much a bad day, but I tried to let that go and keep a positive attitude. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's like one thing on top of another, on top of another, on top of another. But besides that, I hope, I hope if you like tend to like go back and watch this video, that it basically explains like why a lot of people like me, the chosen people, go through what we go through, and we get target a lot. Um, it's a shame, it really is, and I feel like it all has to do with jealousy. Because what other explanation can it be? People just love to make assumptions, you know. People just love to make assumptions. They love to see you fail. They don't want you to see. I'm the type of person, right? If I know that, you know, um, you're a good person, you're respectful, you're respectful to, you're respectful to me, right? I want to see you succeed. I don't want to see you fail. Like, you know, no matter how high on a, what type of, type of, like, level you get to, I'm going to be so proud of you, even if it's, like, higher than me, Right? But if you're, like, the type of person that you're ugly, like, say, say you can be the most prettiest woman, the most handsomest man, right, and have the most money, right, and be rich and everything. But if you're ugly in, to me and in the inside, and you're, then you're ugly on the outside. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, and there's a lot of people like that. Um, so, like I said in my previous videos, if you watch all my videos, and it will explain so how I got to this point. Um... I've been going through this since I got I came out of my mama's womb. Basically, just fighting, fighting to survive, fighting for my sanity, fighting for my peace, fighting for my livelihood. It just never fails. I don't know if it's Connecticut per se or just the world. But at the end of the day, I know that I personally have always been going through this. It's nothing new. I just wanted to get to the point where I'm understood and I get my respect and my peace and my justice, and I could just live my life in peace. You know what I'm trying to say? And I pray that I, I prosper in life so I can excel and then do the best I can as a mother um, for my future son because he don't deserve to go through this. I don't deserve to go through this. And if I was, a, if I was such a conniving person, trust me, you will see a different side of my personality. Um, it's not hard to hide a conniving person's personality. You know what I'm trying to say? But I do have the right to speak up for myself. I do have the right to defend myself. I do have the right to things. But if the law is against me, what can I do? You get what I'm trying to say? So I hope that explains a brief summary of people that's going through it like me. Because um, I'm not the only one. Um, I'm not going to pray for my enemies and I'm not going to forgive them. Because that's not helping the situation. Why reward someone that keeps causing damage? You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, I'm just going to expose them. You know? Even if I don't get justice, I'm just going to... Just exposing them is good enough for me. 